integral of cosine theta times the square root of 1 plus sine theta d theta. So what I'm noticing is that uh, I have a sine theta and a cosine theta both show up in the integrand. They are derivatives of each other. So I'm going to try u substitution and I'm going to let u be 1 plus sine theta. It's got a sine theta in it. The derivative of u here is still cosine theta. And 1 plus sine theta is the inside of a composite function. So that makes it a good choice for you. So that means du d theta is cosine theta. And so d theta is du over cosine theta. So my integral becomes cosine theta times square root u. And instead of d theta, I have du over cosine theta. Those cancel. So this becomes the integral of u to the 1 half du. Increase the exponent by 1, becomes 3 halves. Divide by the new exponent or multiply by its reciprocal. And then replace the u. So this becomes 2 thirds. u was 1 plus sine theta to the 3 halves plus c. The integral of t cubed e to the t dt. This is a product, and u substitution is not going to work because I don't have two functions um, where one is the derivative of the, of the other showing up in my integrand. So I'm going to choose a u and a dv. dv should be the more complicated function as long as you are still able to integrate it. So I'm going to choose e to the t dt, and then u is going to be t cubed. So that means du is 3t squared dt, and v is e to the t. So my integral is u times v minus the integral of v du. That's the formula for biparts. u times v is t cubed e to the t minus the integral of v times du. That would be 3t squared e to the t dt. And I'm going to have to do biparts again on this integral that remains. <clears throat> I'm going to let u be t squared dv be e to the t, so du is 2t dt, and v is e to the t. So just copying down what I had before, I have t cubed e to the t minus, now I'm working on this integral, so this integral is one big value, so I'm going to open some parentheses as I plug into the biparts formula, u times v minus the integral of v du. So this is t cubed e to the t minus, big bracket, u times v is going to be, oops, and I, I pulled this 3 out of the integral, so this, this should be a minus 3 here. Okay, u times v, so I get t squared e to the t minus the integral of v times du, that's 2t e to the t dt. So copying down what I have so far, t cubed e to the t minus 3t squared e to the t plus 6 times the integral of t e to the t dt. So I just distributed that, neg that negative 3. <coughs> now I'm going to have to do by parts again on this last integral. So I'm going to let u b t, d v b e to the t, so d u equals d t and v equals e to the t. Copy down everything from the previous line. And I'm opening a bracket for my new integral where I'm going to plug in u times v minus v d u. u times v is t e to the t minus the integral of v times du, that's e to the t dt. So t cubed e to the t minus 3t squared 
e to the t plus 6t e to the t minus 6e to the t plus c.